<clears throat> Hello. What I thought I'd do today is just another shortish tutorial, but I'm going to demonstrate how to get music to play based either on when we enter a trigger or based on when uh, a particular quest stage is set or perhaps a dialogue line is done. So I'm inside my tutorial interior to demonstrate this. And we're going to be playing um, one of these music tracks here, so uh, it's in the music type section. And I'll play basically any one of these, like these Reveal, Reward, Dread and Sting are the most common types of track that we'll play. But if you do have a custom track, um, check out one of these base ones to see how they're set up. So this is the setting setting most common for when you want to have a track that will just sort of play once over the game and then that'll be it. And the ones that are important are plays one selection because if you don't have that checked it'll just play over and over and over and over again. And if you're going to want to be able to play it multiple times, say have multiple triggers that will play the same music, play the same music. We're going to want to have cycle tracks, otherwise it'll play one track and then just never work again. So those are the two important ones. These these other ones are less important. And so now what I'm going to do is basically just demonstrate how to get that to play. So it's pretty simple really. We're going to be creating a trigger. So I'm going to make sure markers are on. So we can actually see. So I just hit M to get my markers to appear. But I've got these bloody great M. So now we're going to want to create a trigger. So I'm just going to press this trigger box and we're going to look for music like this. Default music trigger. And now there we go, that's appeared like that. And we can shape it into whatever size we want, but I'm just going to leave it at the end of the room like that. And double click and now this is the important part. The script. So we're going to double click here and we can edit what type of music we want to play. And it'll tell you pretty simply to add numbers for 0 is Dread, 1 is Reveal, 2 is Reward, and 3 is Stinger. Now, um, you can't actually listen to them back here, but if you have exported your files, you can go and find out what they, what, um, what they sound like. But I'm going to select um, Reward, so I'm going to go for 2, as you can see down here. And then play the short version, I'm going to play the short version, that's what I usually like to do in my mods. And that is basically all you have to do if you want to play music based on a trigger. So if a player will enter that trigger, a little bit of music will play and that'll be that. But we might want to have our music play based on, say, a quest stage being set or a particular dialogue line being said. So I'm going to demonstrate that now by right-clicking New and creating a new quest. And I'm going to call it Tutorial Music Quest. And just give it a 45 priority, it doesn't matter how much. And I'm going to assume you have something in mind, but obviously I don't, so this is very much going to be for tutorial purposes. So now I just open my tutorial music quest. And I'm going to do this via a quest stage, but it works exactly the same if you want to do it via a stage or via a topic. So I'm going to create a stage, right click new, create that as 10, create a new log entry. And now we're going to want to create a property. There we go. We're going to want to add property, and we're going to be looking for a music type property as we were looking at music types earlier. And so we're going to have to decide now what type of music we want. So, MUS. Perhaps I'll go for MUS Dread this time. So, again, there are individual ones. We have the single track uh, types, or we can have these ones which will shuffle through all the different tracks. So I'm going to choose to do this one. So basically I'm going to create a property to coincide with that, so I'm going to call it MUS Dread. And when I hit OK, it's going to automatically fill, because I called it the same thing. And now, this is nice and simple, whether you're doing this in a dialogue fragment or a quest fragment, it's exactly the same. So we're going to go for that property we made before, MUS Dread, and we're going to do dot add, open brackets, close brackets, or open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and compile. And that should work. Yeah, it did nothing, so that means it worked. And so basically all that does is that adds the music into the current uh, cycle of music. And these are already set up, so they will um, so they will um, overtake the bass uh, music. And I think I accidentally made an edit there, but um, it doesn't matter because this is just a tutorial. So now I'm going to go into the game and we're going to demonstrate that working. Okay, so I'm now inside my tutorial interior. And we're going to be taking a few steps forward and hearing the music that I set up to play. What's this hiding? Oh, you're gonna wanna take a peek in here. That's very nice, Hancock. 
Right, so next oral duties any day of the week. That's nice. So uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set that quest stage up so we can hear the dread music playing. And um, obviously I don't have any way of setting that up, so I'm gonna use the console. Um, what's they call it? There we go. So now I'm going to set the stage of this. Sixty-three, six zero. And it was stage 10. And there we go. That's about it. It's all worked nicely. And on Hancock's recommendation, we'll take a look in here. So hopefully that was useful. Um, I, I'm a little bit pressed for time at the moment with various work things. So I'm just doing uh, a few short tutorials. But hopefully that was useful and clear. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.